it's pretty much what it sounds like writing for the web but the problem is it's a lot more technical than students are expecting uh, and so we stray away from what you see is what you get um, editors and we want students to learn how to code things in HTML and CSS and I think students aren't prepared um, for having to do that so um, particularly once we hit CSS there was a definite confusion across the classroom. For most people working in a workplace, at some point, you're going to have to be able to put a web something together. It may not be a full website, but you're going to have to either know how to do it yourself or know how to go in and, and tweak what somebody else has made. So I think it's becoming one of those essential office skills. I don't think it's you know, sort of an optional specialized thing anymore. But they should have a basic competency in terms of if they have to put together a website, they can. If they have to, you know, edit a website that somebody else has made for them and is now no longer there, they should be able to do that. And I think that's a pretty fundamental skill. It assumes that they don't know pretty much anything about writing for the web, and it's meant to sort of rectify that. Like, the first week is literally, here's how the web works. They should be fairly competent in writing for the web, but they should know, you know, how to use a CSS file, how to make their own, if need be, how to tweak an existing one. They should know how to code an XHTML file from scratch. Um, so they pretty much should know how to be able to put a, together a basic website by the time they leave.